All right, I'm playing some Tour 9 today. I'm just trying to uh, get all my trophies back in Tour 9. So I have everything below. Everything's done. Now I got to do Tour 9 and then off to Tour 10. So we're just going up the ranks. I kind of enjoy these. These holes here aren't too bad. I'm playing with... Uh, I have one bag that I'm trying to stick with that bag. It's uh, APOC 6 and a Cataclysm 6. And I think a Grizzly is the is my long iron. That wind is not conducive with us, even with max overpower. No, that wind is not good. Not good for us. Not good, I say. Six, eight. I'm gonna do, uh, there's three, six. I'm gonna do five rings, seven and a half. It's like 10%. I probably should have put some curl on that. I probably should have. Just to swing the tail back around so that it didn't clip on that second bounce. I think it did clip that rough just barely and wowed it up. I wasn't paying attention. I just took the shot. I took the shot and I was paying attention while I took it and then I forgot by the time I addressed the ball. I'm pretty sure there's a rough bump here though. Cataclysm is uh, one eight. I think it's one eight one nine two two. That's how we're gonna play it. My opponent's in a spot of bother. I think they can recover from there, but they are in a spot of bother. Goliath. I'm right at maximum Goliath, so it's at uh, ten point eight. Divided by maximum Goliath, which is two, which is one point eight. That's six rings. Max backspin. Make sure I'm giving myself room from the rough. It will come back up on there. So six, six rings. That's a straight up shot. That's no extra. No taking anything off. No nothing. And I hit it one ring great to the right. Got all that going for me. And I barely, barely made it out of there. The goal is not, I. the goal would have been to make it, but we want to make sure that we're safe. And I was kind of pressing the limit on how close I was to the rough with the, with the pool. And they can definitely do the rough bump from there and the wind is blowing with them so that they can pull across that peninsula and not have to involve the sand. And it's basically two per ring, so like six rings. They moved it four. They moved it four. So if they hit it great to the left, it's already going great to the left. And they hit it great to the right, which compensated for it. Not really. Put the pressure on them. More than likely, they'll make it because I get replays. If it's a replay, they'll make it. If it's a real boy or girl, I give them a 50-50 chance, which is actually pretty good, that they'll catch it perfect, because from that distance, that is in the hole on a perfect, and it might be in the hole. on a great to the left. 
but I think anything great to the right misses. And they put that spin on it. We'll see. And they hit it two rings great to the left. If they're going to hit it great, that's the side to hit it great on. Because it is breaking towards the cup, but that is uh, close. Close. Let's play again. Let's play again. Come on. Come on, Thunderstorm. The Eagle Eyes Club. Let's get at it. Come on, bro. And I would have played you with no, and I had no slots empty. Look at that. Look at that. Better, better empty some slots here. Get rid of all those silver chests. Almost got that one gold down to a, a manageable level. Hole number nine. Tour nine. Tour nine. Park de Paris. I do not remember this hole at all looking at this picture, but I'm sure as soon as I get out there, I'll go, oh, I remember that hole. I do remember that hole. This is one of my favorite par fives as well. I brought that Cataclysm. This is one of the myriad of holes that the Cataclysm is helpful on. Max. So it is 11.1 .1 times 1.1 .1 divided by 1.5. 8.14 rings. There's 5, 6, 7. Uh, I need to move it over just a little. Hit the red line. Isn't it perfect? Now it's all about whether or not I overpowered it too much. I'm in big ass trouble. Big, non recoverable trouble. Means I have to put myself in a really good spot. And I don't like this pin placement as much as the original pin placement either. Are they bringing out a special ball on me? They are bringing out a five power ball. Perfect. They are perfect. Right down the middle. Right down the gut. I just need to lay it up, up at the top of this fairway. Put myself in a good spot for an approach shot. Can bridge over. Bridge over troubled water. Two, four, six, eight, ten. I'm gonna put a little bit of it back in it. Just hit it perfect. I hit it one ring, two rings, 75 rings great to the left, which that side it won't hurt me. Ooh. I was afraid I was gonna tail off into the sand, but if I hit it great to the left, I wouldn't, but if I hit it great to the right, there was a good chance I was going to come in. Arr. And I opened the door. The door was already open and they achieved their shot. Now all they got to do is achieve this shot. Get anywhere over there so they can get a short pitch and they got a, uh, an, a market advantage. And they and it all it took was a power five ball. I played mine like shit as well. All right, I can make this. I can make this shot. I am perfectly capable of it. There's Max. There's Max. There's mid. I'm in mid club.
mid club 7.2 divided by 4 1.8 rings there's 1.8 Two rings great to the left. Close, but no cigar. No cigar. Good game. Let's put some pressure on there. Let's play again. I'm ready. I'm ready, bro. I'm ready to win my money back. Win my money back. Get away from that badass drive I did. Pitiful drive. Pitiful. Well, doing the shot that they're doing, they actually have a shot of missing this. There for a second I had my hopes up that they had missed on that great. It's definitely the type of hole that if I play at, I miss it great, I, uh, I miss. Those are the type of putts that I don't like to do. All right, damn it. All right, I'm back. It's 11.59, so uh, I got like 20 minutes to play. So I, I can shoot a 30-minute video. Let's see how many we can get done in a 30-minute video. Here we go. Here we go. I'm sure my teammate Kyle, who started off as just a punk nose rookie, went to number one player in the world. Won at every level. Could probably max tour nine out in a day. I suppose if I sat down and did nothing but play all day, I probably could. I find these holes are... The only time I'm losing out on the course is when I make a mistake. Like, you know, like I'm better than... I shouldn't be making mistakes. I'm coming here and some of the shots I'm taking too big a risk. I just need to put it in the fairway. I need to remind myself that I'm playing one-on-one -on -one and that it counts in this account. Like, I can't go out and just lose all day long and it doesn't really matter. I need the money. <laughs> I guess that's what it boils down to. So I can have fun, but I, I do need to make sure that I, I watch my, uh, I can go out and mess around. I can try something out on some of these par threes because some of these par threes, learning how to play them with my clubs. Now the original pin placement, there is a rough bump out there and I think there still might be. Cataclysm. Cataclysm, Guardian, Guardian, Guardian. Four point five. I'm gonna add on ten percent, and this is one point. It's three rings. One, two, three, and just a titch. Isn't it perfect? And it should end up perfect. I need to turn my calculator on. I had my calculator off. I got out. And that second bounce was pretty damn close. I think with the new pin placement, it's closer to the front. And for a backspin shot here, because I don't have as much backboard, I want to be as, I want to be as straight to the cup as possible. And hopefully with, I might, well, I don't think so. I might be able to get over to the other side, but I think only if I brought out, I don't think I brought out a big enough ball. So I might've opened up the rough bump though. And it seems to me like on this, this shot, there is at least like a 10% adjustment. And I wouldn't be surprised if there wasn't, if it wasn't 15, just because of the wind. See what they move it. That'd be like ten rings. 
like they were at Max Club. They moved to about 10 rings. And they needed to move it more. All right. Can have a shot out though. Good. I do have a window. I don't think I have enough of a. Uh, there's not enough of a window there for me to pull against the headwind. I'll bring it over. There is a rough bump. I do have enough to do that, and it's at Max Club. Seven six rings. There's six. There's twelve. Seven six. Oh, and I hit it great to the left. The worst side to hit it to. You can get caught up in the rough right there because it's deeper. It it's a it takes a longer second bounce to get out of the rough and clear it and get out on the fairway and so you take the risk of it clipping the rough and if it clips the if it clip just barely clips it you'll roll out but if it if it's even a ball length into it it'll just hit and, and die immediately buster bro bro don't get your sister all excited She's the smaller of the two dogs, but she's the she's the muscle. He's he's the bark. She's the bite. Isn't it perfect? Perfecto. In the hole, man. Wind was a factor even from that short distance with that high a wind. Eleven six. It moved it over. I was on the right hand side of the cup and it moved it over to the left hand side of the cup. It's typically a hole to run toss in but uh, that was not a uh, this hole is okay so in regular play this hole is like plus 10 but for some reason here I need it needs to be higher. It's like I'm gonna say plus 25. We'll do plus 25 times whatever the wind is. And I wanna be up there so that I can put on like a three or four backspin. I want my first bounce to be at the bottom and I want my second bounce to be up at the top. So that I have control of my ball and it doesn't do that because it's gonna hit and roll back down the hill. And the deal is I want to be right there at that shadow with my first bounce and then go over the top of that hill if possible. Guardian. There's Max Club. There's Min. There's Min. There's Mid. I'm at Mid Club. Mid Guardian. Four point five. I think it's one point one. So four point five divided by one point one. It's five eleven. Five point one. And I hit it great to the freaking left. The worst side to hit it to. Right even with the cup. I forgot I had that guardian in there. So I was all prepared for a sniper shot. Let's play again, man. Let's play again. Good game. Yes, yes, yes. I think I have an empty slot. I hope I do. Because I am going to smoke you right here. I say that now, but like you get out there, like 
I'm 100% sure if I just play smart. Now, I'm going to play smart. Well, with this wind, am I going to play smart? No, I'm going to play smart. And the last time I was out here, I didn't add on any curl. Thor's hammer, 9.5 times 1.1 divided by 1.7. 6.14 rings. There's five, six, one, four. Let's lean just a little. And hit it great to the left, which will not matter at all because I leaned. If I'd have hit that two rings, though, it would have clipped the rough on that second bounce. That would have been. Okay, bad. Now they can use that wind, and they got a level 8 apocalypse, so they got shit tons of. They can use that wind, all of it, all the top spin, and they might be able to work out most of that wind with a power 3 ball. And they're eyeballing it. tree into the rough. They got a great shot from there though. That'll work. I will. A dog will hunt. There is a rough bump from up there. There's Max Grizzly. There's Min. Mid club. There is a backspin shot that you can do from here. If you get way up. Man, I want to do that rough bump in a hard way, but I this is definitely a shot I don't want to this is where I need to play I remember I'm playing one on one 6-2 there's 5-6-2 I'm just going to do the 6-2 hit it perfect I'm just recovering I'm just sticking it up there so that I can have a uh, I have an easy shot at it That's the type of area up there. There is a rough bump that you can do from up there, but it is a really, like, if you don't do the wind right, it'll, the way the wind was blowing there, the sand wasn't involved in the pool, but if I didn't pull it enough, it'd blow me into the sand, and if I pulled it too much, I'd miss, and you gotta use a bunch of top spin, so if you miss, it's bad. And I didn't even think about do, trying to use the backboard and see if I could walk it down, walk my tail down the hill. I have no idea, and they have no idea. For all we know, that's going to go in. It's pretty close. Pretty close. Perfect in the hole. All right. I got uh, 12 more minutes. This will be the short 30 minute video. Like it actually should be. And I'm going to play one more hole. One more. I'll play this replay in one more. Or this uh, shootout, excuse me, replay. It is a real boy, a real human. I have two cups of coffee in front of me and both of them are empty. That is not good. Alright. 1.1 times whatever the wind is. I'm in Max Guardian. So it's a 5.8. 5.8 rings. There's five, eight, right back to the red line. A little bit of overpower. Hitting it perfect. 
It's all about hitting the rough. Still need to pull a little bit more. Or I need to add on like one top spin because there's a ridge right there and you got to get over the hump so it's on the same plateau as the cup. But you don't want to go over it too fast because if you hit it too fast, it'll break along it and you'll roll all the way down to the bottom. It's easier to do with a sniper because the ball guides a little bit better. Five seven, and they are at mid. They did about five seven. I think if they hit it perfect, that that is the shit. Great, man. If they'd hit it perfect, it'd even been more in the sand. Whatever that last jog was, they did was uh, not good. Not good. Not good. Good game, good game. Where is good game? Good game. That's rematch. They they don't want nothing to do with that. Nothing. I'm not sure I had a slot open. I might have played them. I I I didn't even look. I might have played them without a uh, an empty slot. Kicked their ass, but didn't win anything for it. One more, last one, last hole for the day. And I'm gonna go do some cooking. I got a bunch of cooking to do tomorrow. I'm gonna barbecue, so I'm gonna barbecue. I'm having a garden party. Our, our, my garden is, everything's at the harvest point. Like we need to harvest everything and stuff so I can rotate a new crop in a fall crop. <laughs> okay. With this wind, I'm gonna do four top spin. Eight five. Ring set. If I did ten percent, I have to do like six and a little. And it's six and a little. I gotta lean a little. Hit a one ring great to the left. And that shouldn't actually play any problem except at the very end of the run, I could run out. If you're on the left-hand side, you'll run out of fairway sooner, but I wasn't getting too aggressive with that. And it seems like we were doing like plus 10%, plus 0.1. I need to actually sit down. If you sit down and you play for a bunch like one day, like you're just playing all day, you play 50 matches, you start to remember some of the par threes. <laughs> and some of these, like the shots going into them, like the second shot's the money shot. I'm in, the, I'm in a good spot now. It's all about the second shot. Am I in that great spot for this ball? I'm in a better spot than they're in. They're still in a really good spot. I mean, they got a straight up Nirvana shot right there. Like, I don't even know if that's Max Club. There's Max. There's Min. I'm at Min Grizzly, which is 1.4 per ring. Couple backspin. I'm getting towards mid. Yeah, I'm gonna count that as mid, which is 1.1. So it's 11.5. I'm just going to pull the wind. I was going to add on 10%. There's 5, 6, 11.5. Isn't it perfect? It would have been nice to have a grid right here. A little bit. Oh, I think I was doing plus point one and I forgot to add the point one on. That would have helped. That would have helped. 10% plus point one. 
It might not always help, but it'll help a lot. But my opponent will be able to get up there and get in, and we will be going to a shootout unless they get extremely lucky and make the shot. Wouldn't that piss me off? Not really, but that's how the game goes. You're trying to make those shots. Shit, you get some opponents that'll forfeit on a shot like that. Well, it's really easy on the par fives. They give up, and it's like, hey, I still got to take my shot. Like, why wouldn't you put a little... Why, if you wanted to forfeit, why wouldn't you at least make me at least see what I do. Because sometimes people will look at it, you made a, a bad shot, so they can go for it. And now that you forfeited, you know, they don't have to, they don't have to do that, but they weren't going to play it smart and just lay it up and play it out. Always play it through. We forfeited a lot back in the day because we were playing in tournaments and you got shootouts. Every hole went to a shootout. Every hole. You never went out on the course where you weren't doing a shootout. I swear that this is like a 30%. 1.3 times 8.7 divided by where am I at in my club? There's max. There's min. I'm at minimum club, which is 1.2 divided by 1.2. It's nine and a half rings. I'm going to get up close and put a lot of backspin on it. Nine point four two rings, nine point five. So there's four and a half. There's my nine. I'm short big time. Isn't it perfect? We'll see if that if I short shot it too much or if I can still stick up at the top because you roll a little bit too far and you'll roll all the way down to the sand. <laughs> Jeez. That was that was a blind that was a blind man. That was a blind squirrel finding a nut right there. For some for some reason I was thinking the 1.2 was gonna give me like four rings, but I I got quite a bit of it out before I got into power. I left myself as much room as possible, but ran a little short. At least a good two and a half rings. But that was 9.4, 9.5 rings, so I, I got close. I wasn't even watching my opponent set their shot up. I didn't want to, I don't want to know. Good game. Good game, my man. Good game. All right, we'll see if they'll replay. If they will, I'll give you uh, bonus content, but, but here, let's play again. Come on, man. I got I got no empty slots, but I am willing to play just for the crowd, just for the fans. Look at that. Look at that. Bonus content. That means we gotta win this. We gotta win it. We got we have to. Alright, I'm not shanking this hole this time. And it's an 8-3 freaking headwind. Fuck. I need a big topper. Yeah, I'm not even sure my big topper is not going to help me here. Well, it might. Yeah, the red line's right there. I'm glad I get to go second, but my opponent, if my opponent gets over there in the clear, that is big. That is big. All 
Alright, I got a little bit of a... Because it, they're not going to get... It'll take two shots to get on for them, so... Let's see what I can get. Can I get... How much distance can I pull back from the red line? Okay, 8. 8.8 8 divided by 1.5. It's five eight seven six rings. There's five six rings. That puts me like a solid ring into power. And I need to curl it over to the fairway. One ring great to the right did not kill me. It's whether or not I put enough curl on there for that one ring great to the right. Or if I'm caught up on the other side, I got just barely made it. That's that's still a difficult shot from there, but I do have there is a I think there is a slight window that I could make it over. If you're on the green side here, you got a mark. It's a market advantage, so going for the green side is definitely. And with that wind, that's a little difficult. I don't know that I can make it. I don't know that I have enough topspin. Maybe. I think I have a level five cataclysm. I'm trying to get it to level six. In 77, I have a level, my 77 account, I have a level six. And I'm using a guardian, which doesn't have a lot of top spin. I might have enough though. 10. and a little. One ring great to the left will not kill that shot. It's just whether or not it has enough legs to get against that headwind. And it didn't. Just dribbling out onto the other side would have been a win right there because my opponent definitely, definitely is in a bad spot. They're still in a bad spot where if they play this wrong, they could end up bleeding off and ending up in the rough behind it or ending up in the rough. Well, it'd be unlikely they'll end up in the front rough, but the way they did the wind right there, they could overshoot it and end up in the rough behind it, especially on a great to the left. They could. They didn't, but they could. All right, all right. Where am I at in my club? Okay, there's max. Max, mid, quarter, and I'm in the fucking, I'm in the, it's, it's super close. Let's hit this perfect. Oh fuck, I should have waited until it was going the other side, but if you're gonna hit it great, the left is the side <laughs> because you don't know how to roll down the hill. If you had just the right speed, it could it could roll down the hill and it, you saw when it made the turn, it, it sped up a little bit. If it had the right speed, it would have, uh, could have dropped a little more. But if you hit a great to the right, you're definitely missing it. It's going to wash out down at the bottom like where my opponent's at. Arr, I had a shot. I would have had a better shot if I would have been in the fairway. Got to hit him perfect. What was funny there was I was moving the club. I was trying to make the wind adjustment to the left. And it was still staying in the cup. So... Perfect would have been much, 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 much better. 
Shit, even a one ring grate would have been better. Not as bad as good, which isn't great. I swear this is 25%. And I normally do <coughs> a 60 in Ricky. And Ricky's not as downhill. But against this wind, I think I need to do more. I think I need. I think this is what I've been finding on these holes here is, is that they're playing. Uh, I need to do like maybe a 40 instead of the 60 that I normally do. I'm gonna try that. And it's like three or four backspin. They're short shooting, but they hit it perfect. <clears throat> I haven't played with my grit so far today, so why start now? All right, they opened the door for me with the 1163, so let's see if we can capitalize. 10.4. I got plenty of club. Like, there's a man, so I'm at minimum club divided by 1.2. 12 rings. Jeez. It's like 12 rings. There's five, six, seven. There's five more. Oh, and I hit it great to the right, which is the worst side. The worst. And I lost. Good game. Good game. Look at that. And I lost on a great to the right, but that was definitely not enough of a wind adjustment. So, like, I came here and I did, uh, I did the 16. It was way too much, so it's... It's like if it's tailwind, it needs to be like plus 20, and if it's headwind, it needs to be the plus 60, because that was definitely... And taking that with a sniper, shit, that's a ton of rings. Even with, the, even with that club right there, it was a ton of rings. I think I like playing that better with uh, that one bag that I had. I brought out the... Uh, I brought out the Guardian, uh, and that was with a Thor's hammer. This bag right here. You can get anything done out there with that bag. And the, the rings are... The clubs are in the 1.8. 1.8. So those mid clubs coming in there for some of those shots, I have a lot more room to work with. I don't have to do as big a wind adjustments on them. All right, there you have it. That was some Tour 9. I filled up my slots. I can open this one. I can actually see what it is, and we'll fire up one because I'm going to shut it down for the evening. Nothing special, just building up the collection. I think I already did my club card trading for the day. I think I did. I think I did. I think I did. I didn't. Club cart trading. I don't have a lot. I do have more in here. I have like 70 days now, so I have built it up. The Castaway. The End Bringer. Alright, I'm working on... I. Alright, I will work on the End Bringer. Just because you never know. Start working on it every time I get it. I'm actually contemplating. I think I've got enough. I have enough days ahead of my 77 account. I've, I've thought about opening up my, or finishing off my last rare so I get three epics every day. But I want to wait until I get to 10,000. But I've been getting, for like the last month, I, every day I've been getting good cards. So like I haven't put that much into it in the last month. Thanks for watching. I will see you on the next one. If you're not a subscriber, hit subscribe. Hit the like button. Leave a comment. Ring the bell. Do all that stuff. Pass it on to your friends. If you got friends in your clan that need help playing, maybe I can uh, help them out. See you on the next one.